Wait, I'm sorry. This is just a bag of Lucky Charms marshmallows? Okay. <laughs> okay, Spoonie. Time to talk. Hey, hey, we have to review those. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously cereal. Everybody's welcome here. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Kicking lights, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's okay, and so am I. All right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Maxwell. And I'm Brienne, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode number 432. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoonie. If you prefer your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. Oh. <laughs> Hello! Hey! Or if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner. Like our pal, Spoonie. He's also a serious cereal director. Every month we create episodes with a theme. And this month's theme is... Balance. Ooh, finding balance in all things. Yeah, which is important because both St. Patrick's Day and Easter are this month. <laughs> Two abundant feasts. It's the word of the day. Abundant. Having a whole bunch of resources. Abundant. It's the word of the day. From your friend, Sunny. Bye. Thanks, Sunny. <laughs> Oh, my. Okay, let the abundant feast begin. We've got Lucky Charms cookie dough, Lucky Charms marshmallows, and Frosted Flakes flavored milk. Wait, I'm sorry, this is just a bag of Lucky Charms marshmallows? Okay. <laughs> okay, Spoonie, time to talk. Hey, hey, we have to review those. Okay, fine. <laughs> Okay, let's get our bowls Ooh. and our plates. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I love cereal marshmallows. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. There will be no balance. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, but but seriously though. Okay, so a sweet cereal flavored milk, cookie dough, mm -hmm. and cereal marshmallows. Man, this is like a dessert sort of cereal feast. <laughs> Patrick's Day has been an official holiday since 1631. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Although people in Ireland have celebrated St. Patrick since the 10th century. <laughs> what's your favorite thing to do on St. Patrick's Day? Or what's a fun adventure that you've had on St. Patrick's Day? Let's see what our friends have to say. <laughs> okay, Spoonie, it's time to share. My name is Jax. And my favorite thing to do on St. Patrick's Day is to run around with my friends and pinch each other. <laughs> we all call it pinch tag and never ever pinch hard. We're just having fun and running fast. Hi, my name is Amber and I'm answering the question about St. Patrick's Day. Um, I have actually never really done any cool activities on St. Patrick's Day. Um, Usually we just, we cook corned beef and no cabbage because no one in my family really likes cabbage um, except for Eric. But like I've never gotten to go to any of the parades or see any of the rivers turned green. Um, I've been to Ireland, but I haven't been on St. Patrick's Day, which I think would be absolutely awesome. So my St. Patrick's Day usually consists of just like having a little party at home with some really good food and, you know, baking some 
soda bread and some corned beef and just hanging out with my family. So that's that's my St. Patrick's Day. Hey everybody, uh, one of the fun things that we do on St. Patrick's Day is we like to drive around and look for rainbows. And maybe if we can find the end of the rainbow, there might even be a pot of gold. If we can't find a rainbow because the weather just isn't cooperating on St. Patrick's Day, then sometimes we'll go and we'll get like a rainbow sherbet and we'll sprinkle gold sprinkles on top in celebration of all of those pots of gold that we didn't find. But that can be fun. And my name's Jennifer. If you don't recognize me, I'm one of Maxwell's moms. Hello there, this is David. My favorite activity on St. Patrick's Day is to ignore it. I mean, he's the patron saint of Ireland <laughs> and the smart ones among you will have figured out that I'm not Irish, I'm Scottish. I mean, who wants to spend the whole day wearing green, eating big piles of cabbage and drinking green beer? Oh, now hold it. Beer's bad for you of any colour, don't drink beer. But green beer is the worst of all. I mean, you know how they make it green? Well, they just grind up moss, pond scum and seaweed and stir that into the beer and that makes it a kind of green colour. Oh, it's a, it's a well, well known fact. But why doesn't anybody in America celebrate the patron saint of Scotland? <laughs> what, you didn't think we had one? Oh, oh yes, St Andrew, he's the patron saint of Scotland and his birthday is on November 30th, but nobody ever celebrates that really, you know, but you could sit around all day drinking, you know, because the flag's blue and white, so you could maybe drink glasses of blue and white striped beer. But that, that would be pretty dif difficult to do. But, but you, could, you could eat piles of blue and white striped ice cream. That'd be pretty good. And spend the day talking in a kind of weird Scottish accent. I, I'd, be, I'd be pretty good at that part. Hello there. How's it going? It's a bra bricht, moonlicht, nicht, nicht. <laughs> But St. Patrick's Day, no, 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 not for me, St. Patrick's Day, no, 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 no. Thank you, friends. What about you? Head over to seriouslyserial.org and click the mailbox to send us a message. Yeah, we love hearing from you. Did people. you forget about me? <laughs> Never fork a million. A serving size is... Three-fourths of a cup. There are... One hundred and twenty. Calories per serving, and each serving has... Twenty-nine. Grams of carbohydrates and... Twenty-three. Grams of added sugar. And a serving size of this is... One bottle! There are... 250! Calories per serving, and each serving has... 40! Grams of carbohydrates and... 18! Grams of added sugar. And a serving size of this is... One cookie! There are... 140! Calories per serving, and each serving has... 20! Grams of carbohydrates and... 12! Grams of added sugar. Thanks, for the million and numpsters. You're welcome. 53 grams of added sugar. So... If I eat one serving of each of these... That's four and a half tablespoons of sugar. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's four and a half of these. Wow, yeah, there is no balance here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but there are marshmallows. True, I suppose. <laughs> oh! Spider! You have to face the camera, Spider. I know you're shy sometimes, honey. Okay. Hey there, Bowler! 
Hello, Seriously Serial Team! I wanted to let you know that what you're reviewing today costs... 383! And there are... Four! Servings! Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! 95 cents! Another thing you're reviewing today costs... 188! And there are... One! Serving! Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! 188! Another thing you're reviewing today costs... 449! And there are... 12! Servings! Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! 37 cents! Math is awesome! Thanks, Bowler and Numsters. Thank you, Chitty Spider. <laughs> Alright, so if we had one serving of this feast, yeah. it would cost $3.20. Okay, so we should uh, cook the cookies before trying them, right? Well, it does actually say that they are safe to eat without baking them. What? Safe to eat raw. Well, I, uh, <laughs> um, okay, Spooty, uh, time to taste. I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, how are you doing? Stuff, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna want some cereal with my uh, Lucky Charms marshmallows. There we go. Nice. Right. So let me just pour these, and I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have the milk and the marshmallows with these Cheerios. Let me just set these down here. Uh, just pour some of these if you don't mind. And then I'll just pour myself some of this milk, and then you can, I guess, try it, have it from the bottle. Because the serving size is one bottle for this. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so as you say, usually we'll split the serving. All right. <laughs> and here you go. And here we go. Okay. And. Mmm, Lucky Charms marshmallows. I've never had these before. <laughs> oh, yeah, never. I wonder what they'll taste like. I don't know. Mm. All right. So, first, I'm just going to try the. Uh, just the milk with the Cheerios. And Cheerios, I know what they taste like. It's a very, like, oaty taste, so. Oh. Wait, these are very fresh, I can say. Oh. This bag. Very crunchy. Mm. Like that good, like, strange, airy, crunchy cereal marshmallow situation. Fabulous. Okay, and I will say the Frosted Flakes milk. Let me just put this here so you can see. Mm -hmm. It is. Definitely, I am definitely getting sweetness right off the bat. Mm, interesting. Okay. It does kind of taste like a milk of Frosted Flakes after you've, at, like, at the end of after you've done, you're done with the cereal. Like, it has, like, a very slight sweetness, and I might even argue, like, some sort of slightly corn taste, too. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, mm -hmm. <coughs> it might just be me, but no, I'm going to try it. Yeah, but let me try these marshmallows. Oh yeah, it actually, it kind of smells a little bit like corn flakes, I feel like. Mm. Mm. And uh, the marshmallows are the most curious, but yeah, these are just like uh, straight up Lucky Charles marshmallows, so if you want to add <laughs> Lucky Charles marshmallows, then I guess there you go. Yeah, it is. It says cereal flavored milk. And it definitely tastes a little bit like cornflakes. It also, it almost gives me like a caramely kind of a taste to it. Like a very, very light, like toasted caramely taste, which I feel like is what's coming across as like the cereal element. That, that could be. That it's could interesting. Be. I don't know. I don't know that I would <clears throat> ever choose to drink this, but it's interesting and it's not bad. So I now, mean, if you like flavored milk, hey, fun. This might give me the Cheerios, because, you know, that is an oat cereal, but... But, uh, but I... But Cheerios have a very strong oat taste, and I'm kind of getting an oat milk 
type of taste from this. Oh, okay. Like that slight, mm-hmm. like, sweetness. Like a little sweet little flavor as opposed to, uh, uh, Cheerios where it's a little, a little more subdued of an oat flavor, but a stronger oat flavor. Like, I'm getting also, like, a more subtle oat, like, mm-hmm. undertones to this, which is, I don't usually get from a <clears throat> Cheerios, so... Is it like oat based? Is it like, or is it just like? Is it no. Just like a, no, I think you might be getting some oatiness from your Cheerios. Maybe. Um, because this definitely doesn't have any grains in it. It just has milk. Mm. Oh um, no, no corn then. Really. No, no corn. Mm. It's just a uh, flavor. Mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, one thing I will say, uh, having Cheerios with uh these Lucky Charms, I basically just gave myself uh, <laughs> you know Lucky Charms and marshmallows. So, <laughs> I mean, go ahead. But um, I will say, be careful with pouring these because I got a lot of marshmallows. So it is all marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> but they're really what I find is actually very cool about these is since they haven't gone through the process of being like mixed in with all of the cereal and everything, all of the marshmallows are in really good shape. They all oh, look like yeah, yeah. the best of the Lucky Charms marshmallows. They actually look bigger than they yeah, they do. Which I think again is just because they're not they don't have to do the, whatever massive factory tumble <laughs> spins all of these together with all of the cereal. Hmm. Who's to say? Alright. Yeah. Are I, you ready? <laughs> I'm really nervous about this because I don't usually eat raw cookie mm-hmm. dough. And you're not supposed to, because it has like it normally it has egg, but normally, <laughs> yeah, egg and actually um uncooked flour can Ooh. also give you salmonella, which oh, is what eggs good. how eggs can make your tummy feel sick. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, recently there's been more cookie dough that, like, <laughs> it allows you to just eat it, like, without having to worry mm-hmm. about that, which is Yeah, no, they, curious. they have figured it out. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't understand it. But, but um, <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like there has been, like, a Lucky Charm cookie before. I don't think it was the same brand, but something similar. But I, I want to say it was a, kind of like a basic sugar cookie, and I think I remember the... Was it muffins? Mm-hmm. It was some pancakes? No, it was cookies. Yeah, it was? It was like Chips Ahoy cookies. Oh, yes! Yeah. yeah. And the marshmallows kind of, uh, they kind of broke apart. They kind of like melted a little bit. Yeah, and that's definitely what I'm getting from these already. They're, you don't really get much of a different texture than the cookie dough. The cookie dough is a very standard like sugar cookie type cookie dough. Yeah. I think these are actually going to be better cooked, personally. But if you like cookie dough, why not, you know? Yeah, I can kind of, I can't kind of tell where the marshmallows like begin and the dough ends, but flavor-wise, a little know, bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're not, they're not crunchy the way that like these ones are. No, there's yeah, none but, of that. They are very, very soft. Yeah, I, I'm worried about the like them being mixed in with the dough, kind of soften them up mm-hmm. a little bit. They absorb the moisture. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's cookie dough. Yeah, <laughs> not something I usually um, go out my way to have. So, you know, cookie dough is like a little bit sticky the way that like peanut butter or yeah. like a, uh, any other type of like nut butter yeah. can be sticky. Um, it's no, very nuts, sweet. Though, nice. It's very sweet because it is a sugar yeah. cookie, um, plus the marshmallows on top of that. Mm-hmm. But it's a pretty decent sugar cookie dough, I'd say. Yeah, yeah it tastes about, about average for like mm-hmm. what I'd think a sugar For a pre made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think I would, I think I would probably have them cooked and kind of, that would probably, I'd give it like a similar score to the past, like mm-hmm. Lucky Charms, like cookies and like pancakes mm-hmm. and whatnot we've tried. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I just don't, this is a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to need a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm going to need a moment to like get all the sweetness like out of my mouth. Like I need a glass of water or something. The cookie dough is still on my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, should we, what should we do in the meantime while we mm-hmm. think? We always love hearing from you. Thank you, Spider. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Guess we can think about our scoring while we read this. All right. This is to the whole Seriously Serial team, and it is from... Jerry S. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's through the mailbox on our website. All right. They say, 
Hello, Team Serial. I like that. I have watched the show for a long time now. Congratulations on more than 400 episodes. Thank you. Did I miss the episode where you introduced the neat toys that are on the table at the end? Is that Maxwell? Oh. <laughs> Keep up the good work. I always watch a review before I buy a new cereal. Thank you so much, Jerry. I'm always happy to hear from long-time viewers. But, uh, I will say, uh, actually, you are not the first person to write in about these toys. Uh, and we did do a little show-and-tell segment where we introduced a few of them. But, uh, specifically about those figurines, well, you mind if I go get them? Oh, please. There we are. Yes, these are figurines of me. Mm -hmm. And there are two different styles. Uh, this one is a sort of a minifigure type of interpretation of me. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these were actually, the parts were all picked out by uh, Faith and Brienne, and then Brienne helped make the uh, pieces all fit together. And we even gave them this little custom Seriously Serial shirt. <laughs> I, I really like the figure. It, I think it looks pretty similar to me. It even has my beard, my glasses. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, this one is a locker figurine, still of me, and it is 3D printed. Uh, this is a more limited edition one. <laughs> this is before I had my beard. But it still has my glasses, because, you know, I, I need to be able to see. <laughs> I suppose. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I really like this one, too. It's just... 3D printing, I'm just very impressed with what you can do, and yeah, this is just, it's just really charming, and yeah, we, it has this little like, case for it, so you can just display it wherever you want, and uh, yeah, it's just very, very nice, and it, even the shoes are a little bit detailed, which is super cool, and uh, another thing is both of them come with a little uh, trading card type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, it has uh, like character stats on it. Yeah, with, <laughs> actually with the stats used in are Blue Forge Gaming card games. So like, uh, I believe actually we're even thinking of making a Seriously Serial card game soon. I don't know if I'm gonna have the same stats, but uh, yes. So this one is compatible with many Blue Forge games card games. If you wanna put a little minifigure Maxwell into your adventure. Serial Max. Yeah, maybe I'll be like a serial merchant or something. <laughs> and it also just has Fantastic. a few facts about me and you know, why I like doing the show, why I like hosting the show, just, hey. So, uh, yeah, those are the two figurines, and I am just, I am just really impressed by them. We had Faith They're Jennifer, normal. they did a fantastic right. job. Cool. <laughs> it makes me really happy to be able to host the show and make these fun little trinkets for you guys, and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can buy them over at the Seriously Serial website. I know we've got a lot of these little guys. <laughs> Maxwell or me. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe that's maybe that's the role having like a campaign, like a, an army of Maxwell clones. They're very serious about cereal. <laughs> but uh yeah, thank you so much for writing in, Harry. Yeah, thank you. We yeah. love hearing from you. Yeah, we really do. And <laughs> if any of you watching at home want to write to us, go to seriouslyserial.org, use the mailbox, and you know, we'll, we might read your message in a future episode. <laughs> And we'll say that again in the uh, outro, so don't worry if you missed that. <laughs> All right, well, I think I know my scores. Oh, I think I might know mine as well. Okay, Spoonie, time to score. Thanks for watching, everyone! Did you know that everyone who makes Seriously Serial is a volunteer? We are! Yeah. And you can support the show by heading over to SeriouslySerial.org. Because Seriously Serial is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments, but we love hearing from you! Go to SeriouslySerial.org and use the mailbox to send us a message. We might read it in a future episode, as I said earlier.
Seriously Serial airs Saturday morning on public access on YouTube and at seriouslyserial.org. See you next time. Bye. Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously serial.